gamers and gamets, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another Warface video. Now before we get into today's video, I do want to give you guys a big fat disclaimer that today's video is sponsored by My.com. But if you guys are have been around my channel for a while, you guys know that I've been partnered with My.com for over a year. And regardless of content being sponsored, I always give you the honest, dead truth anyway. So that's nothing for you guys to worry about. But legally I am um I am obligated to you know put that disclaimer in there so just a heads up just one thing and before we get into this video also I do want to get one thing out of the way as well Warface right now currently is in early access on PlayStation 4 it's about to go into beta test into its first closed beta on August 30th for Xbox One early access is a stage where you can pay to play the game early before its initial release Warface goes free to play for everyone on September 18th and the reason I want to take the time to clear this up today is because there have been a lot of people making videos saying that you know Warface is deceiving a lot of people you're paying $60 for a game that's you know that's been out since 2013 and stuff like no no guys it's just in the early access stage where you can play early before a lot of the you know major content gets on the game have some time you know to level up and stuff like that it's completely optional if you don't want to pay pay to play early you just you wait to the actual release date which is September just September 18th Warface and my.com they have done a pretty good job of disclosing this this has been mentioned on their website it was actually told to us in July so I really just think a lot of people didn't pay attention to that so I do want to clear that one thing up I don't mean to you know to be the little you know um deep throater here and everything in that situation but I did see a lot of videos saying that and I've been following this game literally since it was announced for PlayStations and I'm like uh, I've pretty much known it was gonna go into early access since day one and <laughs> you know I wasn't given that information in secret so I just want to clear that clear that up for you guys but anyway what's up what's going on is Warface early access worth it we're gonna talk about it. we're gonna talk about this shooter how it feels what you can expect from this game and all that kind of stuff so Warface is a modern first-person shooter and I'm gonna be honest with you guys that was my first turn on with it because let's be honest this generation we haven't had a modern shooter since Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 4 was a hybrid of a next-gen and last-gen title it was on PS3 and PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. It came at the beginning of these consoles' life cycle. So, you know, it's been a while since we've had a, a good modern shooter. Everything else that's came out has been either really far in the future or really far in the past. Nothing, you know, just in our in our modern times with simple weaponry that we know and love, which I don't know why. The community's been asking for it so much from a lot of these other companies, so... Um, yeah, but anyway, so um, Crytek and My.com decide to deliver, and if you don't know, Warface is actually developed by the makers of Crisis, which are Crytek, and it also uses the Cry engine in this game. So you, get, so you know right there, there's going to be some really good, buttery smooth gameplay inside of this game. Now, Warface, what is it? It's a first-person shooter that features PvE, PvP, and of course, a battle royale. However, the Battle Royale won't be arriving until sometime in September for PlayStation 4, and I believe sometime in November for Xbox One, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. It's either November or December for Xbox One. I'm pretty sure it's November, but I'll say November or December ju just to be safe. But, um, but, but yeah, it does feature those modes. There are co-op PvE missions that are, um, four and five, four and five, man. There are raids in here that are, um, that are, that go up to... Five players those are long hardcore intense missions that take strategy when it comes to Warface you can play one of four classes you have an assault you have a engineer you have a medic and you have a sniper each one of these classes are limited to certain weapons and now with that we're gonna go into talking about these founders packs so you guys know what you're getting with this game there are technically two different types of founders packs for Warface now in theory, there are actually five, but there's technically only two. You have the Collector's Edition Founders Pack. And one thing I want to clear up about these Founders Packs is they do confuse a lot of people. No, if you buy, you don't have to buy the Collector's Edition to get all of the classes. A lot of people think that. That's also been another misconception put in a lot of videos. No. I literally unlocked all the classes in this game by the time I hit level five or six. It takes you an hour, depending on how... How you know quick you can level up in, in some games. You can probably unlock all the classes even quicker than that. But I literally unlocked all four classes 
when I first played this game. And guys, I only purchased the Assault Founders pack. So I only got, so you know, I, I know what I'm talking about. And I have access to all four classes. Now, um, one thing, one other thing I did want to, um, I did want to mention to you guys is there's, uh, these, these class packs, what they do include is weapon variants. Now there's a different weapon variant for each one. As you guys can see here in the gameplay, I'm actually using a gold FN scar H and these weapon variants, they do come with a little bit of increased stats. So I'm going to show you guys right here on the screen right now. So y'all can see the increased stats that you get for these weapon variants. I know weapon variants are a turn off for a lot of people, but they're nothing major or game breaking. As you guys can see, I get five extra bullets in the magazine and I get, um, and my RPM is increased by 15. Whoop de doo, at least in my opinion. That's not enough, you know, to make or break a gunfight just to me, but a lot of the weapon variants in this game are comparable to these kind of stats. I did go through and break down some of that. If you guys want a more in depth video on, on like weapon variants and the gun statistics, let me know. I'll be glad to, to make one, you know, just to, just to assure people that they're really not much to worry about. Now, I know we don't have all the content PC does, so that's not to say that that's not subject to change later on, but as of right now, the weapon variants in this game are nothing serious. I have tore up plenty of people that are running around using gold guns, using basic assault rifles. The only reason I'm actually using this gun in this video is just to showcase you guys, showcase you guys what you get with the Founders Packs. And another also thing about weapon variants as well is you get, um, you get all the attachments unlocked right away. But when you get a basic weapon and you first buy it off of the in-game market, it actually does come with a red dot or a reflex sight, whichever one you know you like to you like to have it you like to to go by. So um, you do have at least optical options for all of your weapons whenever you first unlock them in Warface. To unlock more weapons and attachments, you basically just buy them with uh, one of the in-game currencies. There is one paid-for currency that you can earn in-game and actually buy with buy with cash those are called credits now these this currency you can buy it with cash and you also earn it weekly you don't even have to play the game to earn credits you literally just have to log in once a day and you're given a bonus a bonus chunk of credits every five days or at least it's been so far since you know I've been playing I actually earned my bonus credits I'll show you guys that here on the screen as well and that was literally from just logging in Warface also does have a paid subscription service called VIP now relax don't let that turn you off the cool thing about VIP is that is free for all PlayStation Plus members so as long as you have PlayStation Plus you have unlimited VIP what does VIP do? Simple. It just increases your your currency gain and your experience point gain, meaning you'll level up faster, you'll earn more currency for matches, winning or losing and stuff like that to unlock weapons, buy more armor and, and different things. Now, let's talk about Warface and what it feels like. Warface, to my opinion, it's not your typical run and gun COD shooter. Like I said, there are four classes. So Warface does require some teamwork and tactical strategic gameplay to it. But Warface, look at it as a combination, honestly, of Battlefield and Call of Duty. Take Call of Duty's three-lane run-and-gun map style, but add the weapon physics of Battlefield, like the gun recoil, the bullet drop, the, um, the tactical awareness, the different class play and stuff like that. Like, the game, honestly, if I had to compare its actual feel, like what it feels like when I'm playing it, I would say it kind of feels like Battlefield. It's definitely, you know, on more of that slower pace than it's not as fast paced as COD. It's not, it's definitely not a slow, slow shooter. Like it's not one of those things, you know, where you're going to be in hour long battles and stuff like that. It, they're definitely end quick. A match usually doesn't take longer than, at the longest it will be 10 or 15 minutes. But it's definitely not as fast paced as, as Call of Duty. So if you're expecting one of those, you know, just go crazy, run out, run and gun kind of shooters, then this might not be for you. I would definitely um I would definitely wait before before trying before um before uh, purchasing this game or try it with a friend or something or something like that. You know, share play it off somebody if you can if you can do that kind of thing. But um it's definitely one of those, you know, more class based strategic shooters and you will definitely learn that once you start doing some of the harder co-op missions raids and your first time playing like um plant the bomb or storm on here one of you know the really um objective based game modes you're definitely going to learn that this is 
this is a lot more in depth than your typical um, run and gun style style arcade arcade shooter. Now, one detail I did forget to mention about the founders packs before we go go on and talk about some more stuff is like I was saying like I was saying before, guys, there are four. Sorry, there are five founders packs technically, but there are actually only two. You have a collector's edition, which comes with four weapon variants for the classes, some cosmetic goodies, some credits. Now, if you buy one of the other class packs, there are four packs. There's one for each class. So there's a Founders Pack for for the Assault, there's a Founders Pack for the Medic, there's a Founders Pack for the Sniper, and there's a Founders Pack for the Engineer. Each one of these are $24.99, $19.99 if you have PlayStation Plus. The Collector's Edition is $74.99 if you don't have PlayStation Plus. It's $59.99 if you do have PlayStation, if you do have PlayStation Plus. Now, um, me personally, I would recommend just going ahead and getting a, um, a Founders Pack for one of the classes that you really like. I necessarily wouldn't go ahead and buy buy the um, the collector's edition because I personally think that's a lot of money for stuff that you can earn in game anyway for a game that's going to be free to play free to play down the road. But that's completely up to you. You know, if you like having you know the collector's items, all that good stuff. If you know you feel like you're gonna get get a lot of stuff with the in-game currency by all means go for it buy it i'm not i'm not gonna stop you i'm just telling you what i personally what i personally personally preferred especially you know now that you you guys really do know that you can unlock all the classes in this game from the gate so don't don't believe the whole the whole thing where oh you know if you buy a single class founders pack you can only play one class no no the game doesn't work like that the people that get this game free to play they're also going to be able to unlock all the classes within an hour or two of playing depending on how fast or slow they get through their missions rank up do the training do the training missions and and all that and all that fun stuff but guys like i was saying before though this game honestly feels like a cross between um call of duty and battlefield the gun plays the gun plays really smooth i do feel like snipers in this game are slightly overpowered but then again in real realistically in shooters Snipers are supposed to be, you know, one shot kind of kills, but I feel like the snipers are a bit abused abused in here. But you can say that for, for most shooters today. There's a lot of shooters, you know, where snipers are an issue and a, and a problem. One thing I do want to give people a heads up on as well, quick scoping is definitely possible. So if that mechanic annoys you, then again, that's one thing you also want to consider and, and, take, in, um, and take into consideration before, uh, before purchasing this game. I know a lot of people do get frustrated with that mechanic in first-person shooters. But it's something that, you know, players are figuring out how to do better and better every day with more first-person shooters. So, honestly, I'm I'm more of an old-school player, so I'm going to be that guy that tells you to know, to know not let that destroy your experience. You should learn to, you know, to just play, get better, and learn to, you know, to adapt to those kind of things accordingly. That's personally just what I do. But like I said, guys, that's just my personal opinion. Feel free to deal with that however you please. But anyway, guys, um, that's going to be about it. If you have any more questions you want to ask me about Warface, be sure to leave it in the comments below. I'll actually leave a link to the, um, to the PlayStation Store in the description as well, so you can check out the, um, the prices of Warface Founders packs and all the items and everything in there for yourselves. But if you all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tenek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.